How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the mayor of Las Vegas, Carolyn Goodman, wrecking Anderson Cooper live on CNN. Now, they were having a conversation about should we reopen or should we stay closed? Ms. Goodman, obviously, is mayor of Vegas, a city dependent upon tourism. She wants to reopen Anderson Cooper, although he may not say this, was against reopening and was trying to challenge Ms. Goodman to no avail. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into the clip. In this clip, you'll see the two of them have their back and forth. You'll see all of what she said. You'll see all of what he said. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what was done there, what was said there. I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. There's a Chinese researchers have shown uh, how this virus spreads. And I just want to put up Ooh, for our viewers. <laughs> I just want to put up for our viewers. This is a, a restaurant. Anderson, you are tough. <laughs> no, I'm not We're talking. Back I'm just, to China. This isn't China. Yeah. This, this is, is Las a, Vegas, Nevada. Yep. Wow. Okay, that's really ignorant. This is a restaurant, and the that's yellow circle. To say that's an ignorant, that, ignorant statement. That's that's a restaurant, <laughs> and yes, it's in China, but there are human beings too. That yellow is a person who's in, who is asymptomatic and infected. And all those other red circles are other diners who that one diner passed the virus to. All those other people became infected in a restaurant that had air conditioning, and they believe it was the air conditioning which helped the virus and, spread and to all those other people. you remember the Legionnaire's disease in 1976 in Philadelphia came all through the air conditioning. You don't remember because you're younger. I typhoid do remember. Mary, typhoid I Mary, who I think passed away, well, anyway, during the late 30s, rode the buses, was a, uh, a cook, and she was asymptomatic, and she spread a, a, uh, a, a fear of getting typhoid, and she never showed a sign of it. And she lived most of her life quarantined. The reality was, I think, 58 people passed away from typhoid, and okay. so we're aware of this. We learn from history. Right. We've had Ebola. We've had the West Nile. But, we've right. had polio. We've had these horrific, None of those were as painful. infectious in Las Vegas. I mean, you didn't have people with Ebola on a casino floor. You know what? If you well, did. Well, we don't know it, that. Well, yet yeah, you, you do because no. if you had it. A neighbor of mine died from West Nile. Right. The, you're, you're, I mean, you're talking about encouraging hundreds of thousands of people to come to Las Vegas. Back. I get the, the financial... Yes. losses people are suffering, which is awful, but you're encouraging, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people coming there in casinos, smoking, drinking, touching slot machines, breathing circulated air, and then returning home to states around America and countries around the world. Doesn't that sound like a virus Petri dish? I mean, how is that? No, what it sounds like you're being an alarmist. I'm not. I've lived a long life. I grew up in the heart of Manhattan. I know what it's like to be with subways and on buses and I'm crammed an into elevators. I think you are by saying what you have just said. So you I'm don't believe the there should be any social distancing? You don't believe of that this is Of course I a... believe there should be. Of course. I'm okay, a How do you do that in a casino? That's up to them to figure out. I'm, I don't own a casino. I don't know anything wait about a minute, wait, wait a minute, a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. You're the mayor of Las Vegas. And yes. you, point, you want casinos to be open, even though you have no authority, thankfully, yes. over casinos. But yes. you, you say open them up, but you have no responsibility about how that would be done no, safely? No, no, you're blurring. No, 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 you're blurring. You said it's I'm not, not your job. There. It, I am not a private owner of a hotel. I wish I were. And I would have the cleanest hotel with six feet figured out for every human being who comes so in there. If you can't figure out how to do this safely, why, as mayor of a city that you were responsible for the people's safety, are you calling for something that you have no plan for how it would be done safely? I am not a private owner. That's the competition in this country, the free, uh, the free enterprise, and to be able to make sure that what you offer the public meets the needs of the public yep. right now we're in a crisis health wise and so for a restaurant to be open or a small uh, boutique to be open they better figure it out that's their job that's so not the mayor's you, job do you not have any sense of responsibility if you're calling for something to at least try to work to make it i speak as okay, safe as i speak with the owners of our city casinos every day almost 
and they're all in such pain of having to furlough or let everybody go in the casinos. Yeah, I'm sure These the casino owners are very ours, sad. I get that. Well, no, they, they're very sensitive people that care about their employees and having shut down the businesses here. These are people, not the strip hotels, that's under the jurisdiction of the county, our unincorporated county. Our jurisdiction here, I'm City sure, of Las yeah. Vegas. My heart doesn't, I and mean, so, casino owners, no. I'm sure they're, you know, they're probably doing okay. It's, it's the people who are, you know, working on the floor who are the ones who are going to become infected uh, and potentially well, die. Well, you're talking disease. I'm talking life. I'm talking life and living. These are people okay, who have had no to sense. abandon, well, it maybe doesn't to you, it does to us here in Las Vegas. Correct. They've had to release all these workers that have no other source of income to feed their children. Yep. And they're also having to make a way to yeah. go ahead and help support the city so at the time right. it opens, Usually the ones releasing the workers are generally doing okay. They're, you know, they're, they're the ones maybe who are, have are. a lot more I, money. It's the ones no, who are actually you're, released you're who are really side suffering. Of the fence. I am talking about the workers. I'm okay. talking about the low-income, middle-income workers that are out free and right. without a dime in right. their pockets. You're actually pockets. talking about casino owners, and your friends, but I, I No, I, I'm not talking about casino. Right, well, you no, were, but now you switched. I'm on well, the go same. Ahead. No, that's been my focus from day one. If you go back to everything I say, it's been always about putting our workers back to work. It is not about the casinos. It's not about anything other than putting those who've lost their jobs in a city right. that wasn't broken and didn't have disease back to work. We're 2.3 million people here. All right. So you saw that you heard that. Now, this was fantastic. Shout out to the mayor of Las Vegas, Carolyn Goodman. Hats off to you. Bravo. You handled that perfectly. I couldn't have done it no better myself. You were able to counter everything that he said with a clear and concise point. You made some excellent statements and you showed compassion because let's be clear. Like I said, Las Vegas is built upon tourism. If there's no foot traffic going to the casinos, going to the hotels, going to the shows, then not only will those places suffer, including the owners, people that work there, people that come there to perform or whatever the case may be. Also, ancillary businesses will suffer. Your Uber, your Lyft, your food services, your wedding chapels, everything is going to suffer. Transportation publicly. All that will suffer because of the lack of foot traffic that Las Vegas is dependent upon. I'm sure Ms. Goodman is getting calls on the phone every day, every hour on the hour, minute on the minute, second on the second from her constituents in Vegas, from the tops of the tops, the CEOs down to just a regular everyday working Joe like myself saying, hey, please open back up. I'm losing my house. I'm losing my shirt. My kids can't eat. The virus is out there and we know it, but how bad is it really? I mean, we're seeing all these studies pop up from all across the nation, from reputable places, colleges, big think tanks, all this and that, talking about the number of infected is much higher than we had previously known. Take, for example, LA County, California. They said there were about seven to 8,000 cases at one point and like 600 deaths. But now we know there's like between a quarter million and a half million actual cases in the same number of deaths. That means the death rate is very low, similar to the flu. Now I know it ain't the flu. All you people out there that want to get triggered and butt hurt. Oh, it's not the flu, ABL. I know it's not the flu, but I'm talking about the death rate. It's very similar to the flu. Okay. And then also people that may have it and die may not have died from that but i'm getting off track so i digress my whole point is that the virus is out there and we know it but is it really that bad is it bad enough to kill an economy in las vegas that needs tourism that can't get it right now because of the shutdown the actual quote-unquote cure which it ain't no cure by the way it's just trying to slow the spread and flatten the curve not actually cure it but the plan i should say for the virus is worse than the virus itself all over the nation, especially in a place like Vegas that needs tourism to live. Okay. Now, Anderson Cooper, talk about you right quick. Um, he's given a bunch of loaded questions talking about, oh, you don't know what to do with the casino. How can you say they got to go back? But what she said was perfect. It's like, look, I'm not an owner. I'm not a casino uh, 
proprietor. I have no idea. Like, that's on them to figure out. I'm giving them tools to be able to reopen. Now, how they finagle that, that's up to them. Are they going to take slot machines out? Are they going to block them off? Are they going to have security guards in there enforcing it? I don't know. That's up to them. But I'm giving them the opportunity to come back to work and to continue to get money. People don't understand the way that an economy works, okay? You got to be able to be employed by somebody or employ yourself, whatever the case may be. You got to make an income some kind of way from the market. Then you spend things in the economy and that raises tax revenue that helps local business. It all works together. When you stop participating in the economy, you're going to see a dramatic result all over the country, maybe even all over the world. You've seen how gas prices are right now. They're low. That's a good thing for the consumer, but it's not a good thing for industries that depend upon a reasonably priced gas. You understand? You're seeing all types of things suffer as a result of this shutdown. It's not a quote unquote minor inconvenience like Anthony Fauci said. It's a different story. I'll move on. It's not a minor inconvenience. You're talking about an entire economy flattening. That's what they're really flattening. They ain't flattening the curve. They're flattening the economy. You're talking about Great Depression numbers. For what? Because we're scared of a virus? I mean, come on. I'm not saying it's a fake virus. It's a real virus. But is it so real that we're going to kill the economy and hurt ourselves as a nation in the long term just to try to hide away from it and not have, you know, a bad outcome? It's kind of weird. So shout out to the mayor of Las Vegas. She's right on point. You got to have tourism. You got to have an economy. This is what I need from my actual mayor, from my government representative, whether it be my senator, state rep, local rep, whatever. What I need is someone that will advocate for me. That's why I vote for you. If I'm a Las Vegas citizen, I applaud my mayor for doing the right thing for me. Okay, some may say, oh, stay home. It's not really a big deal. But those that are saying that, probably have some kind of money they can live on, all right? America has rich people, but not everybody's rich. A lot of people are living check to check. They got bills, they got responsibilities, they got to take care of, okay? You miss one check, bad enough. You're missing two checks, three checks, four checks. All of a sudden, you wearing the red and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. So what she said was right on point and what she said previously was also right on point about how this whole thing is ridiculous it's a mess. People are suffering. We got to get back to work and we got to get back to work right now. If you don't want to go back to work, if you want to stay home, that's your business. You stay home. But let those of us that want to work and risk life like we always do. Let us go back to work. Don't hold me hostage. Don't hold us hostage because you're scared of the outside world. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that a Las Vegas mayor was right on point with what she was saying. If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or was she not on point? Was she ignorant? Was she selfish? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. I don't understand the whole selfish comment, though, because people want to get back to work and they want to take care of themselves and their kids. All right. I don't really understand that because some people like myself work from home. So I would be OK for a little while until the economy really tanks and then I can't go to the store and buy food, but that's a different story and I move on. I'll be okay for now, but it's not even about me. It's about the entire country. See, if you're worried about yourself and your own health, that's being selfish. If you say that my health is so important or my grandma is so important that the whole country got to stay inside, that's being selfish. I want people to have freedom. If you want to stay inside, if you want to wear your mask, if you want to wear your gloves, that's fine. That's you, your prerogative. But I don't want to do that. Don't make me do what you want to do. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.